Well, time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Hmm, okay. So why are you targeting a Gall Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? His credentials. So you're hitting the Gall Bank branch in New Atlantis. Nice score, very lucrative and very dangerous. If you're going after a gold mine like that, I'll want to come along for the ride. Or you're not getting near Dombrowski. You want credits? Hugs? What? Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. <sighs> Fine. You want to play it that way and suit yourself. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh, 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 this is my cue. Step aside, mortals. Barrett is here. You knew at this or something. Come on, think. If you don't hold anything over the guy's head, he's not going to budge. He's stubborn, he's rich, and he's a huge pain in the ass. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Well, you better learn quick. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen. Captain Rokoff said you're allowed in any of the cruise specific areas. Just talk. Business or pleasure? 
quite a lovely star miner. Nothing but the best. Have you tried the canapes? Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. Even if I was offered the award, I wouldn't take it. Can you imagine the security nightmare I'd have to deal with? No, thank you. It's critical that the society keeps the memories of Earth alive in our hearts. I'm doing my part by attending the spectacular event. That's all then? Okay. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So, what brings you aboard? Please remember to obey all posted safety and mustering. An open bar would have been nice. The Triton's gouging us for every kind of The society chair has really outdone herself this time. I certainly hope they just. Mm, his behavior towards women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. This is going to be the ninth Earth Savior Award Ceremony, but the first time it's ever been held aboard a Starliner. The Society is such a worthy cause. What could be more important than the preservation of the Earth spirit? Enjoy the rest of the event. That view... Hello. Are you a man? Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbeck. Which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. Well, apparently the award is so valuable there is only one in existence. It gets passed to a new winner every year. It's a shame that the Earth ended in such a sorry state. But I'm glad the society has the nerve to do something about it. Hmm. Well, that was boring. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Sorry, I'm have busy. A safe journey. Maybe we'll talk another time. I certainly hope they decide An to hear for our business. Would have been nice. aboard a star. But Trident's gouging yes. us for every credit. He's some people. kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the awards committee this year. The way she dots over that glorified trophy. You'd think it was her own child. Donations to the society can be debited from my bank account on a monthly basis. I barely have to lift a finger to help. Don't forget to donate to the cause. The society chair... <coughs> I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified... You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to contribute, though the minimum donation level is 5,000 credits. Nice to have met you. So, what brings you aboard? Have you tried the canopies? He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Is this about that feature SSNN ran a few years ago? I can assure you, this is a legitimate charity organization. Enjoy the rest of the event. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes. I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? In my cabin? 
Oh, please. Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Due to an unfortunate accident, we are halting our space to prepare Any complaints about your crews should be directed to one of the staff. I prefer swimming in bioluminescent hot springs under a sky full of moons, but hey, the pool is nice. On behalf of Trident Luxury Lines, I'd like to welcome you aboard. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. Don't forget to tell your friends how much you enjoy the cruise. Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? I think you may be right. I hear you. Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. This is the complimentary service where they hold all the fabulous riches right back there. Sorry, do I know you? Look, I think you're definitely confused here. I really don't have time to have a discussion with you. My partner's waiting for me. He's a very important man. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How did you... <sighs> that idiot. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy?
If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? If you had another way to get the information, you wouldn't be dealing. You'd be demanding. If you're trying to intimidate me by saying that, it's not gonna work. Oh, damn it all to hell. You're one of the authorities? Then I'm already sunk. All right, you've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. You're pissed off? Imagine how Dombrowski is going to feel when we start stepping on his toes. <laughs> Good. I hope you crush them so badly he'll be unable to walk. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. I'm sorry. I'm right here reporting a security situation. I need to get back to my duties. Get back on a more traditional solution. Hello. You here for the charity event? Well, I work for UC Security, meaning that business isn't exactly my area of expertise. I'm afraid I can't really help you. If you're looking for a business opportunity, you might want to check with someone else. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Maybe I am a little drunk, but you're still a liar. <laughs> just in case you weren't aware, I am the authorities. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Pleased to make your acquaintance. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. I'm not particularly inspired by your shining example of confident leadership here. Don't worry, it'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. 
If Chief Engineer Sandin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had hell. Get back to it. The ship's purser can assist you with any matter. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry. That area is off limits. No exceptions. No, sorry, I'm afraid it's impossible. Trident regulations strictly prohibit anyone from entering the life support area without a valid reason. Look, I'm not trying to be a jerk here, it's just that I could lose my job, you know? Oh, really? Well, that changes things quite a bit. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Remember not to touch anything, please. Suddenly, we visit a high security medical bay. Didn't expect that. Okay, then. cleared out of the buffet. That's always a bad sign. wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it! That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. May I have your attention, I'd please. love to see the bastard fry. If I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. In an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. 
Dombrowski had the authorization to wipe out records on Galbank's system without raising any red flags. I let Claudia talk me into that. She said she had him wrapped around her finger. Apparently, she was wrong. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. <laughs> Au contraire, my misguided friend. There's a bargain that needs to be hammered out. And you will listen to the facts before we proceed. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galvan. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. I pride myself on having an intensely thorough education, though I'd hardly call myself a professor. <laughs> though I'm sure that your compliment also meant you were having trouble understanding what I've been saying. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my Galbank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Rather astounding that you deciphered our communication attempt. It only took you a minute more than we expected for you to work through the calculus and participate in the discussion. But the rat models are notoriously unpredictable. Splendid. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have All a deal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I wish you hadn't blown away the gambling debt that Sandine owed me. But hey, you got the job done. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched in to help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Doverleach. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, 
It's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where All we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the captain. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your captain. place look cleaner than before? Huh. Hey. You might want this. Hey, so I thought you might like this. I hope you do. Souvenirs are fun to pick up, but better to give. Enjoy. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. Don't worry about it. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Hello. Welcome to the... <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. How the hell did you know that? Look, Ecliptic busted in here and said something about letting you walk into the archives and then they're gonna jump you. I'm supposed to let you in and then get the heck out of here. They said if I didn't do exactly what they said, they'd kill me. Just be careful. I don't even know how many of them are hiding in there.
Well, they don't need it now. Neutralize the target. Hey! I'm waiting here. <laughs> Want to kick back? Avoid the last Nova. Bugs in a front don't kill any mode. Piracy missions are always a healthy source of income. Next time you see Bog, tell him to light. We may not have official security on the key, but we are always... Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that'd be a first. Mm -hmm. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. All right, now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neighbor, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. 
But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the Comm Spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook. I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. I promise. You gonna write that in your diary, little girl? All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. The fleet's the only family you need. Better get a move on before Dale sees you slacking. Muggle, I've got the stuff to hide it. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I gonna be very disappointed? Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. That about does it then. A hell of a deal for both of us, I'd say. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. In the fleet, you either put up, shut up, or die. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Yes. 
and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. We've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. Good. That should slow them down for a while. Look, I spent all day listening to those idiots running in circles. Are you telling me I don't know my own job? All right, calm down, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the Legacy's transponder signal. Of course I am. We don't really have a choice in the matter. There are no shortcuts. The route you're taking to secure Crix's legacy for the Crimson Fleet is the only one at our disposal. If you suddenly change your behavior, they'll know something's wrong. I realize it's difficult, but I urge you to stay the course for now. In the meantime, we'll formulate a plan to ensure the Crimson Fleet doesn't get their hands on that money. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. Back in basic training, I had the record for fleet kills. 